Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question binary tree tree. In this question we are given the root of a binary tree and we need to return the sum of every tree node still. Now the tilt of a tree node is the absolute difference between the sum of all the left subtree node values and all the right subtree node values. If the node does not have a left child then the sum of the left subtree node values treated as 0 and the same is with the right child. In the given example, we can see that the 2 has no right and left child, so its tilt becomes 0 and so the value of 3. Now, the value at this node becomes 1 because the absolute difference between 2 minus 3 is 1 and so the value 1. If when we see that in a bigger tree, the quotient becomes much more clear. Now, we are given certain hints with the quotient. There is a hint which tells us that we can use post order traversal and that is indeed what we need to do in order to solve this question. It is an easy problem so we will directly jump on to the coding part. Let's see what we can do. So in order to have the difference we will take a class level variable and then we have a helper method in which we will pass the root and at the end we need to return this difference. Now we will declare the helper method and in this method what needs to be done if the root is equals to null then we simply return 0. In this helper method we will be returning the sum of all the left subtree and right subtree and at each level we will calculate the difference and add that difference into the class level diff variable. So how we can do that is if this is a leaf node. In this case, the sum will be root value. We'll then follow the uh, post order traversal in which the left subtree is called first. And then the right subtree. Now in the difference, we can add the absolute difference of left and right. And at the end, we simply return the addition of all. When we run this code, we are getting the right result. Now let's test that for example 3. So it is giving right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n as we are traversing over all the nodes and the space complexity will be O of n. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.